The following Fatal 4-Way Contest is an Extreme Rules Match. And approaching the ring, representing D-Generation X, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 260 pounds, Triple And approaching the ring, representing the nation of domination. There's no telling what these competitors will do in Extreme Rules, but I can guarantee we're about to find out. Oh, great move. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Give us your thoughts on the great one. John Ken Shamrock has earned the nickname the world's most dangerous man, hyperbole or fact. Are you kidding me? Considering he's been able to do here in the WWE, coupled with his MMA history and his unstable mindset, I couldn't argue with that. Well, luckily, the body hasn't absorbed too much of an attack up to this point. Ken Shamrock is making his presence known. Oh! You have to think that's it. Oh, out of nowhere! Oh, and he missed that one. God, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, we're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a cold. We're looking at complete double leg drop bulldog. This is the end. Yeah, you can turn out the lights on this one. Another person who might not argue with Ken Shamrock being called the world's most dangerous man might be The Rock, who Shamrock beat to become the 1998 King of the Ring. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. The Rock is in position. Sharpshooter's locked in, and man, is he leaning back on it. He's moving like a man possessed. Quick pennant, and the shoulder's up in time. Well, as long as it's up before that three count, that's all that matters. He's showing no signs of letting up. Talk about sending a message of defiance to your opponent. I think that'll get the message loud and clear. This might be it. What the? That's his opponent's finishing maneuver. I can't believe he's rubbing that in his face. One. Inside. Two. He's not exactly popping up to his feet here. Well, what do you expect, Michael? Did you see what just happened? And he's heading back in. I can't. Uh-oh. There's the leg drop bulldog. Man, this guy's party's over. Now back to the ring. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. Here we go. Now this is punishment. I've never heard of victory by using the same move, but we could see it here tonight. Well, it seems to be working fine so far. The offense of the Rock is working well right now. Oh, what a slam! Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel. Contra wow! It doesn't get much better than that right there. He's making a statement here with this attack. And down he goes. Hey, triple A. That's it. He's done. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Stunner, this one is over. You're right. No one gets up from a stunner. Yet, in addition to becoming a win, man, he's got to feel great. Oh, what a spectacular match. Let's take a look back at what exactly happened. Look at this. This was a match that was simply mesmerizing. Here's your winner. The referee's three count ends this one. And there's your winner, folks. That's a big win right there. Anytime you pin another WWE competitor's shoulder to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. What a match, and thank you for tuning in.
Brandon Myers so close, Steve Austin's reign as WWE champion, but oh, why don't you just the shoulders are down. One, two. Off. Not your garden variety impact on that one. Collar and elbow tie up. Just making his presence felt there. They are locked up. This is intense right here. Oh, look at the Undertaker. He has enough gas left in the tank to duck that. Oh, what a lariat by the Undertaker on Steve Austin. It looked like Stan Hansen's lariat. What impact by The Undertaker, both Undertaker oh, oh. and Austin down, Undertaker up. Gonna go for the cover or not? Let's see, oh, no. I don't think so. He's wanting to finish Stone Cold off completely. Undertaker punishing Stone Cold Steve Austin. What a battle between two of the all-time greats in WWE. The Undertaker in firm control right now of Stone Cold Steve Austin. And you're right, JR, it looks like The Undertaker wants to administer a little more punishment to the rattlesnake. The arm ringer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Old school. Old school coming up. He's going to walk those ropes. No! Look and, out! And Austin just jerked the Undertaker right off the top rope. Man, you don't see that happen very often to the Undertaker when he goes up top. And Austin stumping away at the ankle, the knee, the shin, trying to destroy the vertical base of the near seven footer with those vile stomps to the leg. Undertaker in big time trouble now, trying desperately. Uh oh, oh look at Kane. Kane sees his brother, the Undertaker, in trouble, Kane, and is making his way toward the ringside area. That does not bode well for the Rattlesnake. But the Rattlesnake is not backing down. The referee trying to get Kane away from the ringside area. Wait a minute, look at this. And now Big Brother, the Undertaker, says, I don't need you here. Go back to the locker room. Stone Cold Steve Austin doesn't know quite what to make of this. Uh, it's The Undertaker refusing help from his own brother. Yeah, go back to the locker room, you pyromaniac, and play with some matches. Oh, my gosh, now Stone Cold Steve Austin all over The Undertaker once again. Whoop, look out. This is a Muskogee, Oklahoma ballroom brawl on a Saturday night between two of the toughest guys in WWE. Austin, oh. Austin right back on that injured leg of The Undertaker. And now Austin talking trash to Kane. And they're calling it the highway to hell. But for WWE fans, this is absolute heaven. Amen, Brother King. I actually agree with you for once. in a fighting mood. On the offensive here. Oh, out of nowhere. There it is. Well done. No, not again. Oh, look at this. Here comes Stone Cold. Oh, and there goes Stone Cold. Austin's own momentum took him to the outside. Smart move by The Undertaker. The dead man now on the outside is even more dangerous than he is on the inside of the ring. Yeah, this is not a good spot for Stone Cold Steve Austin to be in here. Oh, look out, look out, look out! Man, those steel steps can't taste good. They're not covered in JR's barbecue sauce, let me tell you. This man is so unpredictable, so dangerous is The Undertaker. Austin finds a very uncomfortable position on the our announce table. Referee trying to communicate with The Undertaker. The referee scolding The Undertaker, but that doesn't do any good. None, not whatsoever. Undertaker's not gonna stay in the woodshed. He'll kick the door open. 
Now the referee trying to get the Undertaker back in. Get inside the ring. Austin lying prone on the announce table. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is the Undertaker doing here, JR? This just doesn't look good. He's seven feet, 300 plus no! pounds. No! Undertaker with a leg drop. My God, Austin's broken in half. There's no way Austin can recover from this. And the, and the announce table didn't even break, but maybe Austin's body did. Referee checking on both men. It looks like it's carnage. It looks like a car wreck on I-35. Yeah, that's it. Austin is finished. And the Undertaker now seizing the moment with no conscience. The man, the demon of Death Valley, manhandling Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, the Undertaker's in firm control. Stone Cold's got to do something here. Oh, I think this man means business. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Right on the kidneys. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Steve Austin. Still not through. He's in full on attack mode now. Are we gonna see it? Oh my, Steve Austin. His strike hits nothing but air. A perfect stone cold stunner. Could this be it? One, two. He's not done fighting yet. You know, it's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in his tank. When the WWE title's on the line, how can you blame anyone from doing anything that they can to win that prize? Well, you can, JR. You gotta push every advantage. You gotta bite, crawl, kick, punch, clothesline, backdrop. Whatever you gotta do, you gotta do it. And that's what these two men, one a current champion, the other a former champion, are doing. Well, Undertaker said he was gonna take what's rightfully his, he feels he should be the WWE Champion, and he's gonna pull out all the stops to reach that goal. And he turns the tie. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. No, not again. I gotta tell you, I'm still not totally comfortable with this Kane factor. I mean, Kane's here. We saw Kane, and we have no word. We have no word other than mankind is receiving medical attention, from what we understand. Medical people are here in the arena. Well, who could be comfortable with the Kane factor? A punishing move. The Undertaker's been busted open. Here's the cover. One, two, three. Yes, the Rattlesnake takes it. The winner of this match, and still the WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. If the Undertaker would have listened to Mr. McMahon, he could be WWE Champion right now.